The gold paint on the palace gates in Madrid may look a little chipped these days. The shutters are touch weather-worn. But the royalty looking out from these windows may be gratified by the reassuring sight of a throng of schoolchildren on a dutiful trip round the palace. Until that is, they listen in, as we did. So who wants Spain to be a republic? That's practically everyone. They do nothing. They do nothing? No. They do some things, don't but they? Nothing. Uh, uh, it is about image for Spain. There is plenty to embolden an underage Republican in Spain. For instance, the reason why King Juan Carlos is walking with sticks is that he fell while hunting elephants on safari in Botswana in the company of his mistress and then had to go a hip replacement operation. It wasn't the choice of prey or the infidelity that upset the public, it was the timing. The monarch was on safari while the nation was on its knees economically. Then there's the king's daughter, Christina, who made the wrong kind of history recently by becoming the first Spanish royal to appear in court. Her husband, the former handball star, is accused of siphoning off millions of euros in state money to line his family's pockets. You can imagine how that's going down. They've not just had one annus horribilis, but several anni horribili. But the difference between the British royal family and this one is that in Britain, when the family strays, it's mainly fodder for the tabloids and shame for the royal family. But here, it also has political consequences. The monarchy in Spain has to be useful. It has to be useful for bringing the country together after civil wars in the 19th century. It has to be useful for restoring democracy. And you ask yourself, what is the use of the monarchy now? What is the use of the monarchy now? I think keeping Spain together which is exactly what it did 40 years ago. Spain owes its democracy to a king. Franco, the dictator, chose Juan Carlos as his successor in the mid-70s. But as the dictator was lying in state, the king was already plotting to limit his own role and return Spain to democracy. The test of his commitment came in February 1981. Officers loyal to the memory of Franco stormed parliament in Madrid and hoped to put Spain's fledgling democracy back on ice. It didn't work because the king intervened. I met Alfonso Usia, a journalist and close friend of the royal family, at an elegant Madrid restaurant. España es un país que no es como Inglaterra. En España todavía hay secuelas, rencores, resentimientos de la guerra civil. En España hay una izquierda una parte de la izquierda que quiere ganar 75 años después una guerra que perdió y que no y entonces eh, la figura del rey es una figura eh, yo creo que absolutamente necesaria es el es el árbitro el referee en Spain it is the king who is seen as the guarantor of democracy pero yo creo que los españoles no pueden olvidar que la libertad que tenemos en estos momentos, incluso la libertad para insultar al rey es una obra del rey. The Spanish public is cold-eyed about the usefulness of its royals. 60% now want the king to abdicate, weighed down by scandal and old age. This fall two years ago was widely seen as proof that Juan Carlos should embrace retirement. The fresh blood is held in higher esteem. Prince Philip, the heir to the throne, enjoys a 70% approval rating. His wedding a decade ago to a Spanish television journalist projected all the groom glamour of a British royal wedding. There is one key difference, though. The Spanish royals are cheap. £7 million a year of taxpayer money, almost a fifth of what the British royals cost. As a school group at the palace reminded us, Spain's royals have to earn their position in history. They represent us. Although these are not the best times for us, but, but... But do they represent ordinary Spaniards who are going through a really tough time at the moment? Well, yes, you are right, because we, we are living this crisis ah. moment and there's a problem with money and them, but in, I, I think that in spite of all of this, is positive for us. In these troubled times of economic crisis, when the very unity of Spain is under threat, the monarchy has rarely been more necessary to hold the country together 
but also rarely more ill-equipped to do so.